Okay, so I'm trying out this new background that I just fixed for myself. I really don't know how well it's coming up, but I feel like there's still a shadow behind me, but oh well, we'll work on that. I don't know if this is going to be our permanent set because I'm still renovating, I'm still trying to transform my space, but until I do that, which will take me till after the lockdown, I'm just going to make do with what I have. I mean, it could be here, it could be in my room, but anyways, that's not the point of this video. How are you guys doing? How has the lockdown been for you guys? Like, it's been crazy. Okay, but the reason I turned on this camera is actually because there's this post I've been seeing flying around and it's not just one post, it's a lot of posts but of people calling Teresa and Rosie loose and cheap. I find it very demeaning, I find it very insulting and the sad part of it all is it's been championed by women, okay, um, single ladies, married ladies, okay, and I really don't understand why we are like this with ourselves. I get the fact that people are concerned about Teresa moving into Ike's family house and the fact that Rosie keeps calling Kachi her husband and the fact that they are staying in the same room and the same thing goes for Bolali and Arnold, the same thing goes for Obichuku and Ebitayen. But the names that have been most recurrent in all of these posts and all of these shades would be Rosie and Teresa and I'm going to talk about these two people today. Now bear in mind, this is not me coming here to defend anybody because first of all, they're not my family members, I don't know them, you guys know these things. Like, once you do something that I find very annoying, I'll come on here and talk about it. The day you do the one that is okay, I'll come on here and praise you. So this time around, I'm going to address all of these posts because people send me messages like, Betha, do you think it's okay for Rosie to be in the same room with Kachi? Betha, do you think it's okay for Teresa to have moved into Ike's house knowing fully well that they're not married yet? First of all, I need to point out something. They are adults, okay? They are old enough to know what works for them. They are old enough to decide what they want to do with themselves. It's not our place to say, oh, do this, oh, do that. I'm an adult myself. If I want to do certain things, I'm not going to wait for someone to tell me how to do them, okay? Just because I feel like I'm old enough to cater to my needs and just do things the way I want. Now, it's okay for you guys to want advice, but it's not okay to just conclude and insult. That's why I have a problem. All right, there's this particular post I saw on Facebook and of course it got to me, so I decided to talk about it. I'm going to read out to you guys what that post says. I'm probably going to insert it on the screen as well so you guys can see for yourselves. The post goes to say, IK, an engineer. The mama, na rich woman, like IK said. Teresa, eye doctor, optometrist. IK, mama bought iPhone for the both. I don't know what that means, but I guess he's saying I came and bought iPhone for the both of them, which is worth not less than one million naira. But let me tell you guys the honest truth. Shame on IK's family and Teresa's family, including their fans, if at the end of all this rubbish, both of them doesn't end up as husband and wife. Teresa, you came out of the love pad and moved into IK's mama's duplex and she welcomed you as what? IK's fiancé or what? Since she can afford iPhone and so on, and IK is an engineer, why can't she ask the son to engage you and flaunt it on social media just the way she is flaunting iPhone on social media? IK is busy climbing you every day, taking the little left over in you. Continue to wallow in stupidity and shamelessness. Teresa, don't you have parents? I doubt you came from a decent family background. The stupid fans will come here now and start barking like dogs, just like their Teresa, but I don't give and F because all of you are the same bunch of shameless people that lack norms. I rest my case. Wow guys, to be honest, I feel like this is too much because first of all there's a lockdown. That's what I'm going to start off with. Teresa doesn't even live in Lagos. Teresa lives in Abuja and when they got out of the house, the lockdown was already in place so there was really no way in God's name she would have gone back to Abuja. Especially because the airlines were closed and all of that. Now, I know that some people would argue, oh, why didn't she stay in the hotel room? Why did she have to move to Ike's house? You need to get something straight, okay? The fact that they chose to be together is not really because, oh, we enjoy being together. That might be the case, but that's not the main point. The point is they have to remain relevant, and for them to remain relevant, they actually have to be together and put out content as a couple. That's one of the most effective ways for them to attract future endorsements and brand deals. You need to understand the business side of things and not just allowing your emotions cloud your judgment. I really don't know who this person is, but judging from the name of that person on that post, it's a lady. And it's really sad that someone would sit down and type things like this. Now, first of all, how are you sure that Ike is climbing her every day? Like, I don't know. We women, we like to just subjugate ourselves after we say, oh, the men are this, the men are that. But in this particular case, the man has nothing to do with this. It is us. We are our own problem. And it's, it's irritating. 
It's irritating. Now, saying that the mother went ahead to buy them iPhones and buy them this, it is none of your business. Is it your money that you used to buy it? Why are you drinking Panadol for another person's day? See, let me tell you, whether Nefa take the lights or not, I'm going to say what I want to say. You people are going to hear me out, whether you like it or not. Okay, you guys need to understand that Rosie doesn't live in Lagos, neither does Kachi live in Lagos. They both live in Abuja. And again, there's no way they can go back to Abuja until the lockdown is over. So the best thing for them to do is stay in the same hotel. I'm not really sure if they're in the same room or not. I'm not there, neither are you. So just because they take out time to put out content as a couple doesn't really mean that they are in the same room and for crying out loud even if they're in the same room it is not your business if we're going to be really honest with ourselves we can tell that some of the couples are already being forgotten because they're not putting out anything as a couple all right this is something they have to do to stay on top of their games this is something they have to do to build their fan base such that after the lockdown they can have something to work with they can have people refer them to brands for endorsements and all of that there's no way in god's name they'll just go for the show and come out and live their lives like nothing happened no they have to put in the work and the work for them right now is being together and putting out this content do you think they're enjoying themselves just sitting in the hotel room doing nothing they're not they're bored they obviously want to see people they want to see their family members but at this point they have to make do with what they have all right let's just stop with the whole judgment and oh this person is this she's loose is that excuse me there are so many things we do behind closed doors so many things that nobody's going to come and judge us for just because we're not in the spotlight just because nobody actually knows us so because these people have been set aside to give us entertainment and give us content doesn't now give us the right to insult them and say things to them for crying out loud they are human beings too they are human beings they have blood and water flowing through them so you cannot say things to them and just expect that they would leave it like that or they'll just take it like that or oh, because they are aliens no they are human beings these things need to stop guys it really really needs to stop whether rosie calls kachi her husband or not it is not your business whether the wedding holds or not it is not your business whether teresa is sleeping with ik or ik is sleeping with teresa or you know they're sleeping together it is not your business whether ik's mom chooses to buy them one million era iphone it's not your business again all you need to do is wish them well if you're their fan and not coming out to just say rubbish and if you're not a fan of these people you might as well just keep quiet you don't have to put things on social media just because you have data sometimes you need to use your data to download books that you just read and mind your business it's not all your data you will use to come on social media on facebook on twitter to type something just because you want to insult somebody this should stop please guys i really did not mean to sound all defensive and all because again they're not my family members i don't know them but it pains me a lot when i find women degrading women it's really bad i've not seen any post from a guy saying all of these things all the posts i've seen are from women women oh, we get the same breast so oh. like we need to stop we need to stop i'm already sweating but guys i need you to understand what i'm saying never took the light but they could not stop me so there's nothing else that can stop me even if i'm already melting in this sweater that i'm wearing i don't know i was trying to feel funky anyways guys that's all the gist i have for you guys in today's video if you have anything contrary to say let me know what it is in the comment section but be polite i beg you be polite because no joy see this lockdown where they extend they give me a dick so if you come for me i'll come for you that's how it is do you understand anyway that you guys already know that i will not come for you but if you come for me, I will just delete your comment. All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I need to take this off because I can't deal. I'll see you all in my next video. All right. Bye.